Yo, what is going on guys, Flashverse here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8. So yeah, after The Flash Season 7 ended, we have been getting some very interesting teases for Season 8 by showrunner Eric Wallace, and he's basically been on various different interviews since the season ended, where he has obviously teased some story arcs related to The Flash Season 8. Something which is also very exciting other than that is that The Flash has officially started production for The Flash Season 8. They have started filming and it won't be too long before we get some set leaks when they film outdoors. But since we have had some multiple teasers about The Flash Season 8 so far, I decided to do a video going over everything we know so far about The Flash Season 8. Now this doesn't include those teasers such as like, oh Reverse Flash will be returning because... That's not, you know, specifically for The Flash Season 8. We know that he'll be returning, we just don't know when. And the same goes for, like, the Godspeed stuff, for example. We know August Hart is locked up in Iron Heights. Eric Wallace has teased that we will be seeing Godspeed eventually, but he didn't specifically say it's going to be for The Flash Season 8. So I'm not going to include those types of teasers. I'm going to include the ones which we know are related to Season 8. For sure. But before I go over anything, however, you guys don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel so you are aware of more Arrowverse content coming your way. Okay, so going over the first thing we already know about The Flash Season 8, which is the five part event. So, for those who don't already know, the first five episodes of The Flash Season 8 will be this special five part event where we will be having multiple different characters from other Arrowverse shows, such as possibly Batwoman, Black Lightning, Superman, White Canary, Stargirl, crossing over with The Flash. It is not a crossover but it will have some sort of a crossover type feel. So the storyline is not split across the shows, it is directly centered around The Flash. So it's pretty much graphic novel number 5, but will be structured like a crossover, thus giving that crossover type feel. So we have one big bad and five parts to this storyline, in which this can hopefully be the gateway into us exploring the post-crisis multiverse, if we do see Stargirl hopefully making an appearance for at least one of the first First five episodes. We already know Superman and Lois has touched up on the multiverse with one of its characters, John Henry Irons, but we do know that Jay Garrick, who is from Earth Prime, will be crossing over with Stargirl this season, who is from Earth 2, so that could be our first post-crisis reference with the Flash characters. So yeah, that's going to be for episode 9 of Stargirl season 2 I believe, but it won't be too long before we have an actual Barry Allen and Stargirl crossover. And I cannot wait to see when we'll get that. Another thing we know about The Flash Season 8 is that this will be a season for Grant to shine. As Eric Wallace says, this is the season of The Flash where we're making a conscious effort to turn Grant into The Flash from the comic book. The most confident, incredibly powerful, secure team leader. It's really a season for Grant to shine in a way that perhaps he hasn't been able to shine always and it's very exciting. Now, I do have trust issues with Eric Wallace, but it's for the right reasons, and that is because a lot of the times he does tease stuff, he never lives up to what he teases or he says. Because he said the exact same thing for season 7, and instead Barry ended up making cameos on his own show. And then again, during The Flash season 6, he said that Kid Flash will be returning for multiple episodes, but he only ended up appearing for one episode. But from where season 7 ended and from what we know of season 8, this does make sense. Not only has the speed force boost made Barry way faster than he's ever been, but also this is him not only 8 years as the Flash, but he's also incredibly powerful at this point. And saying that Barry will need help from other Arrowverse characters to take this one villain down from the 5 part event, it just shows that Barry will be going against more challenging and more powerful threats which could build him into becoming this more confident and more secure team leader and that prevents him from you know getting help and getting continuous pep talks from his team members. Another thing we know about The Flash Season 8 are the villains. Now we've had three villain teasers from Eric Wallace. These could either be a villain of the week or a main villain we don't know for sure but for the first villain it's the main villain for one of the graphic novels and Eric Wallace describes this villain as a very scary fellow and we might dip our toes into the world of horror and supernatural. 
Obviously, when this first came out, the heavily rumored villain was Red Death, since he is a villain so many people want to see on the show. But even if we are going to have Red Death, it was never going to be the Batman and the Flash combination. It was going to be their own spin on the character. However, they do that. I think it would be a lot more interesting if they did do their own spin on the character. I think they could bring some very cool stuff with him like that. But we don't know who this villain is. The theory is Red Death or the rumor is Red Death. But that's been the rumor for like years now and we still haven't had Red Death. Will we get Red Death this season? Who knows? Now another supposed main villain was when Eric Wallace talked about the struggles Barry and Iris will be going through as a couple. As he says, I think their biggest challenge that they've ever faced lies ahead and it's going to be tough. It's going to take what I consider to be one of the great love stories in the history of television to survive what they're about to go through, especially in the back half of season 8. Now, this isn't 100% a main villain teaser, but what we do know is that this will be a storyline for the back half of the season, so graphic novel number 6, but also, when you think about it, a struggle that big interfering with the West Allen couple, it can only mean Eddie Thon. I don't see anything else which would fit with that criteria which Eric Wallace talked about. The only way to actually have this huge struggle in their relationship is to bring someone from their past and this is when I think it, we could have this perfect opportunity to bring in Eddie Thon's version of Cobalt Blue into the show. Now I know in the comics Eddie Thon's not Cobalt Blue but for the show, that's what they would do if Eddie Thon was to ever return. We do know that Rick Cosnett a couple of months ago did say he will eventually return to the Flash as one of the Flash's greatest enemies. So I think it would be pretty cool to have Cobalt Blue as Eddie Thon as one of the two big bads for the Flash season 8 and as Eric Wallace said, it's related to the back half of the season so if we are to get Cobalt Blue, and if it's related to this storyline, it's going to be for the back half of the season. And um, obviously, just Iris finding out that Eddie Thon is alive, but also Eddie finding out that Iris married Barry. I think that would make a really, really cool rivalry and this really cool obstacle which team, or I was going to say Team Flash, but the West Allen couple have to, you know, go through. I think that would be a really, really great storyline. Now, this last villain teaser isn't necessarily said to be a main villain, it's just a villain they wanted to use on the show. But Eric Wallace said that way back in the first episode of season 6, so that's Into the Void, they wanted to use a very CGI heavy villain, but they weren't able to due to how heavily CGI focused that episode already was, which is why we had a Godspeed clone instead of that villain they originally intended to use. But Eric Wallace said that this villain will be appearing this season, so season 8. Now once again, I don't know if this is related to one of the main villains of the season or if it's just a villain of the week. We just know that whoever this villain is, they will be making their appearance during season 8. Now another storyline centered teaser is that we will be exploring more of Iris' time sickness this season and we will be exploring like why she's having them in which I'm very interested to see what's the cause of that because it's been left on hold from last season they didn't even explore it during the 150th episode or the finale but we do know that we're getting the storyline back for season 8 so I'm very interested to see what is actually going on with Iris will they bring in this Iris from the future storyline into the show I'm not entirely sure now in regards to the structure of the season it's going to be the same thing as last season which worries me so we'll be having two graphic novels and one interlude now the graphic novel structure I'm a fan of that I really like the idea of the season being split into two parts with two different storylines they did drop the ball with it during season 7 where we still had loads of filler episodes when the graphic novel structure could have easily prevented that from happening but with season 6, it was very well made and less dragged out and it kept the storyline so engaging. So I hope they bring back the, you know, the season 6 formula rather than the season 7 one where you have the graphic novel structure but you still have tons of filler episodes. 
Now, there's no denying that no one was a fan of the interlude. Apart from the Cisco episode, no one liked the idea of having filler episodes centered around Allegra or Cecile with barely Barry around. The main reason why we watched the show and we don't even have that character, they gave us no reason to care about Allegra or Cecile whatsoever and having no Barry just basically got us tuned out from those episodes. So to see Eric Wallace not taking fan reception from the fans does bother me, but hopefully interlude part two will be better than interlude part one. Hopefully we do have more of Barry in these interludes. Hopefully he sees that whatever he did with the first one just did not work and he fixes that for this season. The idea of having three filler episodes in a row was just ridiculous and it's the interlude so we know we're having an X amount of filler episodes in a row again, which again, I find ridiculous. Um, it just took a lot of potential away from the Godspeed storyline, which only had four episodes because of this interlude. We don't exactly know how many episodes we will be getting for season eight, but maybe if the season was longer, then the interlude wouldn't have much effect on it. But because of the interlude and because of us having an 18 episode season for season seven, it really took away from the Godspeed story and the Godspeed story had so much potential and the interview just wasted it. And because of that, the Godspeed storyline ended up getting four episodes when the storyline definitely needed at least two more episodes. So hopefully it's better for season eight. But lastly, we don't exactly know when, and this isn't 100%. We do know that it's for season 8, but it's not 100%. But Eric Wallace did say that he wants to bring back Bart, Nora, and Jay Garrick for season 8 at some point, but we don't know when. Which I find that to be really cool because I really, really enjoyed all of those characters and just seeing all these different speedsters working together was so much fun and I cannot wait to see what they have planned with these speedsters during season 8 if they do actually make a return. But yeah guys, thanks for watching. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please give a like and subscribe. Be sure to tell me in the comment section down below if I have missed anything. I'm pretty sure I didn't, but yeah, be sure to tell me if I have. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.